do it. I just put a QR code up on my board. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I got it. Just so you understand where I come from with Twitter. Interact Academy is a week-long professional development opportunity that inspires our teachers to become agents of change and transform their classroom. Our goal for the week is to give teachers the opportunity to be immersed in instructional strategies and um, how to bring technology into their classroom. I feel that integrating technology into our classroom instruction is important um, nowadays just because the kids are so connected with it. That's how they communicate, that's how they socialize. Kids are already exposed to technology. They're already exposed to things that are very interesting from a technological standpoint. So you have to figure out how to use technology in a way that still seems interesting to them, not just bland. If students are engaged, they love coming back, and they're actually getting something out of their learning. They're taking it with them. A lot of the problem I think that we always have is we want to just give the teachers the device and expect that they know how to use it already. And even though some may know how to use it personally, they don't know how to use it in a classroom setting. So our goal is to show them as students here first how it could be effectively used. And then letting them have practice experimenting with multiple apps or multiple programs to see what a best fit is for them. Just completed my first year teaching. So uh, not only is it uh, helping me with technology uh, and integrating the classroom, but it's also giving me better techniques and uh, better classroom strategies and helping with management. Honestly, the only reason I ever really used technology in my class other than using the whiteboard was as a reward system. Like, okay, you finish your work, you can go play on the computer. And now I've learned to maybe incorporate it into my lessons so that my students are more engaged because I do have a lot of kids that are hands-on learners and this will be a good way to get their attention. Technology shouldn't be taught separately. It should be a tool that is used throughout all curriculum we're preparing our students now for jobs that don't even exist yet. We don't know what they are going to be doing. So instead of training them to do a job, we're trying to make our students the best problem solvers and communicators that we can. Whether you're uh, working at a fast food restaurant or you're a CEO of a company, you're going to be working with technology in some facet. And so if we can get them comfortable with technology and become problem solvers and great communicators, they should be successful in whatever job or occupation they choose to do in the future.